Hey everybody, today we're gonna take this Ender 3 here and we're gonna install brand new boating couplers and Capricorn XS tubing. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So like I said, we're gonna take this Ender 3 here and we're gonna replace the Bowden couplers and the PTFE tubing. We're gonna actually replace them with the tough couplers from uh, TH3D and we're gonna take this Capricorn XS tubing as well. Now this is black Capricorn XS. You can't find this unless you are at MRF this year. Normally it's blue, just so you know. The reason why we're gonna do that is because historically on the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro and some of the other models, the Bowden couplers that come on it are very weak and they have plastic teeth on the inside, which means it does not grip the PTFE tubing very well and eventually it'll break free and you'll start seeing your PTFE moving in and out of that Bowden coupler. That causes issues with drag, it also causes retraction issues, and if you're not flowing good with your filament, you're going to have all sorts of issues down on the bed as well. So the reason why we're going to use the Capricorn XS tubing is because they use a high quality virgin PTFE tube. It's a lot more slippery for one, you can actually feel it, and for two, the inside diameter is a, a little bit more tolerant, so it's a lot smaller. When you put your filament through, it doesn't have so much room to move in there. What's great for Luke's hot end fix as well, when you use this, because it doesn't leave much room for that filament to go anywhere in that hot end. So let's jump into it, let's do it. All right, so what we need is the Capricorn XS tubing. Again, this is black one, and this was a Murph exclusive this year. Yours will probably be in blue. Uh, I did hear that there was some red floating around too. You need a side cutter that came with the kit, the wrench that came with the kit for the Ender 3, two new Bowden couplers, and uh, they are PC4M6 and PC4M10 Bowden couplers. And you wanna make sure you get the ones with the black tops. And the reason is because these have metal teeth inside. The ones that come on the Ender 3 have plastic teeth. And uh, that's what we're trying to avoid here. So make sure you get good ones. I really like the TH3D ones. We know they all come with metal teeth in them and they're actually really good on the, the compression of the top here. And if I put it next to my microphone, you can hear it snapping when I push it down. And then we also need the Capricorn tube cutter. Thank you so much to Steve and Buzz for uh, giving me this stuff. Two zip ties that I forgot to mention in the beginning. <laughs> so the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and plug your Ender 3 in and turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and push the bed back just a little bit. And once your Ender 3 is on, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and heat up the hot end to about 200 degrees Celsius. So press your button, go down to control, press the button again, go to temperature, press the button, go to nozzle, press the button, and then scroll up till you get to 200 degrees. About right there. Press the button again, and you're good. It'll start heating up. So then, I like to go back to the very first menu and you just go back and back and then you can see it actually heating up from there. So while that's heating up, I wanna go ahead and start removing what's on here currently. So first, take your uh, cutters here and carefully cut the uh, zip ties. And you wanna be very careful. You don't wanna cut the wires that are underneath that and that will break the uh, PTFE tubing free from your wire loom here. Then, what you want to do is go ahead and take the wrench that came with the kit and you can go ahead and use the smaller end and take off the Bowden coupler that's on the extruder side here. Um, sometimes if you push this in and pull, and this is one of those times, um, you can actually pull your PTFE tubing out when you do that. You got to push in and just pull out your PTFE tubing. That was really easy. On the new couplers, not so much. So that tells me this coupler is probably uh, not the best, and that's why we're replacing it. It only takes a little bit, and then go ahead and screw that out, and we'll put the old one right there. Now we're still heating up, and actually the temperature in the nozzle is already at 200. So what you wanna do then is go ahead and take your bigger, side and just go ahead and loosen up. Now the same thing here, you can push the coupler in and pull out and sometimes the PTFE tubing will come out. This case, not so much. 
it's probably melted inside. Um, the other thing you want to be careful is this fan is on and we heated up the nozzle. It's 200 degrees Celsius. So if you go touching down here, you're going to burn yourself. So be careful with that. But at this time, you just go ahead and loosen the old coupler. Um, you can actually take this and just spin it out like that. And go ahead and pull it out. So you can see there was some filament melted in the bottom. That's what was keeping that in there. So another thing we can see is this probably wasn't pushed in all the way, which means there was a small gap between your tube and your hot end. And that's why we do Luke's fix. And this is a perfect time if you're going to do the hot end fix to do that at this time. For this video, we're going to keep rolling and we're not going to do that. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab your Bowden couplers and we're going to start up here and just hand tighten it in. So once your hand tighten, just like that, take your wrench and in this case, it's actually the big end. It's a bigger um, end than the stock one was. And we're actually going to give it like a quarter turn, uh, maybe a half a turn, but don't over tighten that because you will strip that out and that's not a good thing. Then what you want to do is take the other Bowden coupler, the bigger one, and go ahead and screw it into the top just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to screw it all the way down until it just hits the bottom and then we're going to back it off about three quarters of a turn. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and take off the other Bowden coupler here and a lot of times you can't pull it off this way. So what we do is we just push it through just like that. And then you want to take your new PTFE tubing. Um, in this case, we're using the Capricorn uh, XS and it's the black color. Like I said, it's a Murph exclusive, but what you'll probably be using is blue. And we're actually just going to kind of do a, a quick measurement um, by lining it up next to each other. And that's about right, right there. So now that I know we need about that much, um, we can grab our cutters. And we can put this through and I'm going to leave it about right there. I'm going to take the white away and this is a very important part. This has to be absolutely straight when you cut this. So I like to set it down. I'm going to set it down right here and just push it straight down. And that was going to give us an absolutely straight cut. If you cut this and it's, you know, slightly angled at all, you need to start over and just cut a little bit off until it's straight. So now what we end up with is a brand new tube that's just about exactly the length of, uh, it's slippery, just about exactly the length of the stock tube. And we'll go on to the next step. So now what we have is our uh, Bowden tube cut, our PTFE tubing cut, the Capricorn. We're gonna go ahead and push it into the extruder side and we're gonna make sure it's in all the way and very tight just like that and we're really good. And then we wanna make sure we pull this collar out. In this case, these are really good collars. It just popped out. But if you notice, I can't pull that out now. It's very tight. Then for, th for the hot end side, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and push this all the way down in. And we left this three quarters of turn out because when we push this all the way down in with the hot end being hot, 200 degrees Celsius, we're going to get it all the way down in and then we're going to go ahead and tighten that in and make it tight. So at this time, go ahead and take your PTFE tubing. Uh, I'm going to hold this and we're going to push it all the way into the bottom as far as it'll go and make sure it goes all the way down. You don't want a gap in here. Again, this is a great time to do Luke's hot end fix. For this video, we're just showing you how to replace this though. Okay, so at this time, you took your uh, brand new Capricorn XS. PTFE tubing, you push it all the way down into a, a hot end. You push it all the way down into a 200 degree Celsius hot end. Make sure that's hot. Now, all we need to do is take the wrench that came with the kit and go ahead and finish that three quarters of a turn tightening. Once you get to tight, just go a little bit past tight and that's all you need. Um, you wanna make sure it's tight, but you don't wanna over tighten into that block, otherwise you could crack it. So now what we have is if we grab the bottom here, your tubing's not going anywhere, and that is good to go. Now we're gonna take uh, these 
two zip ties that I forgot to mention in the beginning. <laughs> and we're just gonna go ahead and tie the uh, Ender 3 up like it was stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one like right here. You do not wanna make these over tight. You don't wanna squish the tubing or the wires. This is just to hold it together. So just enough you know, to, to stop it from sliding, but not over tight. We're gonna do the same thing in the back here. Just like that. And I like mine a little farther down, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and take our cutters, cut the ends off of the zip ties. So once we have the couplers and the button tubing on, what we need to do is go ahead and cool down our hot end. So go ahead and click, go to um, prepare, oops, go to prepare, scroll down to cool down and click again. What that's gonna do is turn the hot end off, keep the fans running and cool down the hot end for us before we turn the Ender 3 off. And that's it, we're done. We have brand new Bowden couplers from TH3D and we have brand new Capricorn XS tubing and this project is complete. So there you go. Now you have brand new Bowden couplers and brand new PTFE tubing from Capricorn on the Ender 3. It's definitely gonna help with the retraction so you might have to dial that in a little bit. Also, when you're going, you'll notice that it's gonna hold in much, much better. You can print the clips if you wanna print them and put in the uh, couplers here. I haven't used them after I replaced them with the TH3D couplers, but if you wanna do that, you can. One of the things to look for in the beginning, you don't have to do this right away, but you wanna watch for this tube going in and out of that coupler. The best way to do that uh, is to go ahead and take a black marker and mark it right up against there. If you see that black mark moving back and forth, it's time to replace your Bowden tube. It's time to replace the couplers because they're not holding. So that was real easy. It only takes about 10 minutes and it's something that pretty much everyone can do. I hope this video helped you. I hope you learned something. And as always, keep printing. My cat is attacking my mic cord, Caleb. That's what's happening right now. We have a cat attack on the mic cord. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. If you did, please click the like button below with the thumbs up. If you wanna see more, click the subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified every time I go live or put out a great video, go ahead and click that little button over here with the bell. You guys have a great one. Blah, I don't even know what to say, so go ahead and turn it off.